these are some of my memories of what happened over the past 80 years of my life. All started a few days ago, Friday the 26th of January, when the, in the Italian television they show a documentary on the Shoah's history in Italy, the Just. The presenter was in Israel at the Yad Vashem, the place where the Just were nominated and written in stone. And you can see indeed that in 2017 the name of uh, my parents, Dalmiro and Verbena Costa, appeared on this stone. They were among the few called the Righteous Among the Nations. It's a horrific used by the State of Israel to describe all of the non-Jews who for purely altruistic reasons risk their lives in order to save Jews from being exterminated by Nazi Germany during the Holocaust. It goes back to my father when he was in the First World War as a young lieutenant. He was a student of engineering and a few years later in the early 30s met indeed a beautiful woman, our mum, Verbena. And together indeed they moved to the mountains, they built a house, the Villa Costa which is still there with the same name. Our mother was a good skier and she taught us skiing from the very beginning. First my brother Giorgio, born in 1936 and I was born in 1940. And then something dramatic happened. In order to save a young Jewish girl, Nedelia, our parents asked her to join us in the mountains as a governess. She was introduced as we were surprised because we thought we did not need a governess. She spent the winter of 1943 until the very summer of 1944. And you can see us with her, Giorgio and myself, near our house, the Villa Costa, up in Sauce de Dulx, at the top of the Valley of Susa, close to the French border. After six months, because of the terrible danger of being caught and executed, my parents got the help from the local parish and she was taken by some nuns somewhere else and we lost track of her. Her parents were sent to Auschwitz where they were killed by the Nazi Germans before the end of the war. And here, in parallel, another dark side of our history as a family. My father married Verbena, Dalmir Verbena, here with the natural son of my father. Luciano, was called Guy, was born in 1922. The family of the mum did not allow her to marry my father, and so he remained very close to the family. You can see him here with our mum Verbena and my brother Giorgio in the late 1930s. Then the war broke, he stayed around and was in the mountain, and indeed, in the very June of 1944, he joined with the partisan up in the mountains behind our house. He was captured by the Germans and was killed in the most brutal way, being hanged in the little town where the mother was living up in the mountains. Our father was devastated. He was ahead of the resistance in Piedmont. He bicycled all the way up to the mountain to collect the body of his son. In the Christmas of the same year, 1944, he was taken prisoner by the Nazis and the Fascists and was put to be shot and then just save last minute, spend the rest of the time in prison. He was liberated indeed in the famous Liberation Day in April 1945. In fact, indeed, in Turin, the date was really 6th of uh, May, and you can see here a square of Turin full of happy people to have actually got rid of the Germans and the Fascists. My desperate father started the persecution of the German criminals that killed his son, but he died three days later in May 28. Having lost the first Guy and my father, my mother remarried and with the new family we migrated to Argentina for 11 years, we came back to Italy and we had a very rich long life since. In 1970 I migrated to Australia with my lovely wife and we lived here in Australia, but my brother never forgot about Nedelia. He succeeded in contacting her via some common friends, and I was very lucky 
indeed to be the first of the family to meet again Nedelia and here she is in the mid 2000s and she's with her family and we remain very close since. It was the initiative of uh, his son Bruno that he started the process of having the Jewish community of Turin to recognize our parents, the Mira and Berbera Costa, as the just, the righteous among nations. And here is the lovely document that indeed makes Dalmira and Bena Costa part of the righteous among nations. You can see here the events in the Jewish community of Turin that actually recognize us as a family. For the help given to the Jewish at the risk of their own life and of their own familiarity. During the period of the racial persecutions, 1943-1945, a very big honour for George and I to have our parents recognised for their very quiet heroism. And then in 2017, always thanks to the family of Nadelia, the family was nominated again the just among the nations by the State of Israel. That is why now their names is in the wall of the Garden of Yan Bashem in Jerusalem. Another important ceremony indeed was held in Turin in the office of the mayor and uh, you can see here my brother of course that gave a wonderful history of the events and in the first row you can see indeed Nedelia and she also spoke telling her own history and receiving the gift also from Giorgio and a number of dignitaries from the local and the Jewish community spoke in this very solemn event that will remain indeed in our memories forever. Immediately after the event we had a direct communication by internet with Giorgio and with us, Daniela and myself, in Adelaide. We indeed as a family we hold very close to our heart this medal. After the event I felt to write to my family some of the thoughts of the events that happened in the previous decades. In a rot translating from Italian, in people's life rarely come together as many aspects as they did in the historical process, culminating with the ceremony of the righteous in Turin. A ceremony which recognized a simple human action from a long time ago for the consequence for an entire family, a community and a nation. Many events, many memories, many emotions overlap. As I get older, time becomes bigger and I feel the desire to go back a little to make sense of many past moments. First of all, the meaning that my dear big brother Giorgio gave to our lives in dealing with the family history and therefore also that of Nedelia, who seemed lost in distant times, loving work of historian as he did for many other moments of our family histories. Thank you very much, Giorgio. And I continued, perhaps all these oppressions and persecutions have in common the belief that they possess some absolute value that cannot and must not be shared with other groups of human beings, considered too different and even non-human. Absolutisms then, whether religious, political or ethnic, I think must be firmly rejected. Almost 20 years later from this writing, I share the thoughts and express my concern about the future for our children and grandchildren. But despite of my age and the very many decades since those terrible times, I'd like to leave you with something positive. Nothing better than a poem by Nedelia herself, translated in English by me, that says, And the grandson said to the grandmother, From the time of the war then you tell me about, the dark era when you were my age, already a hundred photos, plus a hundred you put in front of me, you show me. My grandma, that it isn't just any colour there, but only black and white. It is true, the grandmother replied. But tell me, continued his nephew, were the meadows black at the time, and the sea was white? Who was inventor of the yellow, red and blue? They didn't teach it at school. Grandma answered to his grandson, In war times the heart 
were made of granite and the eyes were two blocks of eyes and all the colors fled from the world. Then they came back. Hold them tightly, nephew. Because if they run away again, it would never, it would be forever.